I grew up with you, listening to your music from high school and so forth. It just occurred to me, crazy thought this afternoon, when you're in a romantic mood and you're trying to make out, whose records do you put on? <laughs> I've spent a lot of nice evenings listening to your music and I just wonder, I said, I wonder who Frank listens to. <laughs> Oh, I play Jerry Fail or someone else? <laughs> uh, I, uh, Interesting yeah. concept. Yes, it is. But, but you know. uh, I can answer that by telling you that uh, in those lovely moments, uh, I play uh, Daphnis and Chloe or the uh, Sunken Cathedral, the Engulfed Cathedral, all that kind of classy jazz. High class I don't stuff, fool huh? around with all that other stuff. <laughs> because... Uh, hey, look, I know you're going to do another number with the band because I know you've got a recording session tonight. And uh, really, on behalf... <laughs> <laughs> See, you look Hello. good, Don. Well, that's it for me. <laughs> Why don't you guys get with the band? <laughs> hey, Frank, it's good to see you. Uh, I, I, I just, I just was hanging around in the hall, and I, they said Frank Sinatra's here, and I've never met him, you know. Never mind. <laughs> and I get the chill. You'll excuse us, won't you? Certainly, you? certainly. Marco Mangananzo was hurt. <laughs> Marco Mangananzo? Fombino Bombazzo, <laughs> two bullets in the head Thursday. <laughs> Now this, this you don't believe. Excuse us, Johnny, you're, you're from the Midwest, you're busy going, is the truck loaded? <laughs> Guido says hi, he hasn't had a chance to talk to you. And from Jersey City, your good friend, Bubani Umbazzo. <laughs> What's he his name? His car. <laughs> he started his car with your album on, and now he's a highway. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. But I tell you, I'm a Jew and you're an Italian. And here we have what? <laughs> and this is a great Irishman. This is America. Yes, sir. And that's why I just want to say, before we go any further, <laughs> for 14 years, Johnny Carson kept saying, do you really know Frank? <laughs> and I want you to know, Frank, I worship you and I love you. I really mean this. Because since I'm a kid, I used to blow in girls' ears and hear you go, la da da dee and do it my way. I need a girl so bad. <laughs> I love my wife, but she's ill. <laughs> but you just got married, Frank. I just can't picture him on the wedding night standing in the room going, and did it all, and I suppose it's my way. <laughs> and Barbara, Barbara, his wife is going, Frank, when you get a minute. <laughs> God bless you. He just got married. Hey, all the good things. This is the most exciting night in the years that I've known Johnny Carson. He started me on this show. This is the most exciting night, and I, 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 so help me. It's a great night. He was even nervous, because he came to me and said, and I said, you are a powerhouse, and Frank, I love you. Can I, listen, can I tell a story about sure. what this man did to me once? You may have known or heard about this. It was a true story. This was a long time ago, long before Don got married. I was eating dinner in a restaurant in New York, and uh, uh, I was sitting with, with some friends, and he came over to the table, and he said, Frank, do me a favor, will you? He said, I'm sitting with a very pretty girl, and uh, I'm trying to make out, you know? And he said, I told her I know you, and she really doesn't believe me. Would you stop by the table? I said, all right. I was just about finished. I was down to the espresso. And I, finally he went back and I walked by the table and I said, how are you, Don? Nice to see you. He said, can't you see I'm eating, Frank? What are you doing? <laughs> and I went, I went for the whole thing. You walked in with my mouth open. 